now we're ready to get started. Okay, everyone, we're recording. Thank you to those in the audience for your patience. Uh, today is August 31st. This is a regularly scheduled TSO meeting. This meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of meetings of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the meetings in real time via techno technological means. Okay, so with that, I will call to order our small but mighty crew this evening. Uh, Shalini. Present. And Andy. Present. Okay, we'll just double check that both Paul can hear yes. us. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we are uh, called to order uh, because we have a uh, we will maintain a quorum for probably the next 20 minutes. So we will head right into our um, motions for the evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul, would you like before we you know go through? Would you like to? Uh, walk through. Um, we can begin. We can begin with um, any of the motions, and then give you an opportunity to talk, and then vote if that makes the most sense. Yeah, I can just sort of summarize each of the appointments, and then you can take the motions as you would like. So the first appointment is the public health director. Uh, this is uh, Jennifer Brown's position. Um, the, the person I am appointing, subject to your authorization, is Christina. Her nickname is Kiko Malin. Uh, she, she is currently the Prevention Team Director and Public Health Excellence Grant Administrator for Northampton's Department of Public Health and Human Services. And she's been there maybe a couple of years, but before then, and, she, and I've been in touch with her. She's been expressing interest for some time in, in working for the town of Amherst. Uh, she came from Oakland, California, where she uh, worked in Alameda County uh, in the county's Department of Public Health for about a decade. Um, she began as a maternal, paternal child and adolescent health director, then took on broader responsibilities as family health services division director. Uh, she has extensive experience supervising people and running large health programs. She's really um, um, excited about the prospect of running a public health department and being the leader of it. And it's, she's going to be, you're going to really uh, enjoy her and uh, tons of energy uh, she has her bachelor's degree from Harvard, her master's in social work, and a master's in public health from Berkeley. Uh, she's fluent in Spanish um, and just has really um, terrific um, um, listening skills and management by cooperation. But And so um, we're all really excited about her agreeing to come on. And if you want me to just keep rolling, I can do that. I think. Anika. Well, that's right. I do have the the motions ready now. Okay. Would like to just go through. Okay. Does anyone have any questions or anything else to say? Okay. All right. So I move to to recommend the town council approve the town manager appointment of Christine Kiko Malin. Is it Malin? Mm -hmm. Malin. As director of public health. Do we have a second? Second, Shalini. Thank you. All right, so roll call. Andy. Yes. Shalini. Yes. And I am a yes as well. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Paul. Okay, so these are the committee appointments. So the first is a, um, with the resignation of Sean Mangano, that means he will relinquish his seat on the Jones Library Building Committee. And uh, I'm appointing Jennifer LaFountain, who's our treasure collector to fill that seat. This, do you want me to just roll through these all and then you can sort of take action all at the same time? Okay, go ahead. Okay. The second one is the Board of Health. It's I'm appointing Risha Hess, um, who is um, is currently on the Affordable Housing Trust and is, has been hoping to be on the Board of Health um, for some time. Uh, she has a strong public health background working overseas um, she's lived in India, Kenya, Papua New Guinea, and Ethiopia. She currently works as a consultant and does a lot. Of, it's mostly public health communication um, and also the sort of intersection with women's health care and uh, 
climate change. Um, she's also the treasurer, I believe, of the Survival Center. And um, so she, she will fill the vacancy there. The next is the Recreation Commission. There are two appointments, Jeremy Brown and Chris Pariseau. Uh, Mr. Brown is relatively new, but he's when he, he moved to town with his family, he quickly became a coach on multiple sports and a scout leader. And he and his family utilized a lot of the um, services of the Recreation Department and was interested in joining, in, just giving back to the community. Mr. Pariseau is a grew up in Amherst. He is a, has used uh, recreation activities, the LSSE um, for the town for many years, went through the, the summer camps. His daughter is now in camps and cares a whole lot about maintaining services for the youth, especially the services that are not sports related necessarily for people who might not be, be naturally wanting to join in sports. The Human Rights Commission, uh, two very good candidates there, Joy Ifill and Rizwana Khan. Um, Ms. Ifill is has moved to town recently and has four children um, who, and she, I think she, she moved, I think from Springfield and she purposely chose um, Amherst um, because she wanted to be involved and she wanted a safe place for her children. And she has learned a lot since being here and really wants to start giving back to the community. Um, she, in her employment, she has um, uh, a lot of DEI and human rights responsibilities, um, and she has been following our initiatives on CRESS and DEI since before she moved here. She's in, she's in profession, she's very interested in professionally. And Ms. Rizwana Khan is an educator. Uh, she is skilled, skilled in conducting research um, and analyzing data, synth synth synthesizing information, she is fluent in English and in Urdu and um, brings a, sort of a Southwest Asian uh, perspective to things. Um, the Community Safe Safety and Social Justice Committee. Uh, the f one person is for Isabella Momquest, who is a rising junior at Amherst College, uh, very involved in human rights issues, especially in uh, issues around for the United, starting the United Nations Association of the United States, uh, working on sustainable development goals, a chapter at Amherst College. Um, she is fluent in four languages. Um, she was she stumbled a little bit during the interview because she had been not speaking English for several months, and so and I didn't know that happened. Uh, but you know she's because she's used, she's used to speaking Spanish at her home. Um, Everett Henry is the next appointment. He is a practicing attorney. And you may remember him because you appointed him to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, he represents, uh, he's an attorney who represents uh, mm -hmm. many people who can't afford lawyers and especially those who are um, unhoused and has extensive experience um, in the court system and has a lot of strong ideas and perspectives about policing and in the court system. Um, we talked about whether he could take on the additional res responsibility of the CSSJC in addition to the ZBA, and he felt very passionately that he wanted to serve on this committee. Um, and and his um, he's been involved. His, his wife um, has gotten a, a long term job at the university, and so now they feel they're, they're settled in the town. So he could now get involved. Uh, Lizette Paradis is grew up in in Amherst. She went to Amherst schools and then went to Smith Vocational School. Um, she uh, is works in the in the trial court, um, and um, her family. She has her father uh, works as a custodian at Jones Library, and so she feels very strongly about issues that are happening in the town, and she really feels she wants to bring the perspective of a, of a young adult to the issues that are happening. Um, she's a powerhouse. She's um, will and speaks. Uh, she is the the sort of English speaker in her family, apparently, uh, and so she comes from a very important uh, group that don't typically have a voice. The Community Preservation Act Committee. These are appointments. These are things people who have been um, voted by their committees. So it's Matt Kane from the Recreation Commission, David Williams from the Housing Authority, and Robin Fordham from the Historical Commission. 
we will get additional, uh, the planning board voted on theirs last night, but it didn't come in time to get it on the agenda. So you'll get the others as they come forward. And that's the list of appointments. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Are there any questions? All right. I'm going to go ahead. I move to recommend the town council approve the approve the town manager appointments of Jeremy Brown and Chris Pariso to the Recreation Commission for terms expiring June 30th, 2026. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, you Shalini. Okay. I'll call it Andy. Yes. Johnny? Yes. And I am a yes. Moving right along, I move to recommend the town council approve the town manager appointment of Jennifer LaFountain to the Jones Library Building Committee for the duration of the building project. Second. Thank you. Okay. And we'll call Andy. Yes. All right. Shalini? Yes. And I am a yes. Moving right along, I recommend the town council approve the following town manager appointments to the Human Rights Commission, Joy Eiffel for a term expiring June 30, 2025, and Rizwana Khan for a term expiring June 30, 2024. Second. Thank you. Okay, Andy. Yes. John. Yes. And I am a yes. Next, I move to recommend the town council approve the following town manager appointments to the Community Safety and Social Justice Committee. Isabella Momquest for a term expiring June 30, 2025, and Everald Henry and Lisette Paredes for terms expiring June 30, 2026. Second. Thank you. Andy. Yes. Shouting. Yes. And I am a yes. Last but not least, I move to recommend. I know this is not last but not least. We're coming up to that. To recommend the town council approve the following town manager appointments to the Community Preservation Act Community Committee, Recreation Commission Representative Matt Kane, Housing Authority Representative David Williams. Historical Commission Representative John Robin Fordham, and uh, and that's it for terms to expire June 30, 2024. Second. Thank you. Andy. Yes. Shalini. Yes. And I'm a yes. Okay, now, and last but not least, to recommend the town council approved the town manager appointment of Lisa Hess to the Board of Health for a term to expire June 30, 2026. Second. Thank you. All right, Andy. Yes. Okay, Shani. Yes. And I am a yes. So that brings us uh, through our appointments. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Uh, for going through that. We're glad we got them finished now because we are lacking a, a quorum in just a few minutes. Uh, mm -hmm. we, will, uh, we will end to see if we have any public comment. If anyone with us would like to make a public comment, please raise your hand now. So you may join us. Okay, and with that, we do apologize for the short meeting, um, but we will be back with you on September 14th, and we wish you all a wonderful evening, and with that, meeting is adjourned.